day and we want to get more organized in the kitchen. But this is for all year round, not just for Christmas. Yes, exactly. Thanks for that lovely introduction. You've really um, explained it well. I think um, my background is a nutritional therapist. So I've worked with clients for years and years and years, helping them to um, make small, you know, sensible, realistic changes to their um, diets and lifestyles so that they can eat a bit better. But uh, I think what I've observed over the years is that there has been quite a shift in the landscape with healthy eating. And now it's not so much a lack of knowledge. I think most people know the basics of what a healthy diet consists of, like eating your five a day and, you know, not having too many ultra processed foods, etc. But what I noticed was that there's, you know, people are still finding it hard. And I think, you know, it, it's because it is, it is hard. Let's be realistic. We have to make decisions about the food that we eat every single day, usually three times a day. And yet often most of the cases, especially with clients that I've worked with, um, we don't really give it the amount of attention that it deserves. So like you can get to the end of the day and stick your head in the fridge and think, oh, I don't know what to eat. You know, we can get quite exhausted and overwhelmed with making the amount of decisions that we need to make um, on a daily basis for the rest of our lives about what to eat. So I wanted to write this book to kind of join the dots between the, the sort of knowledge and the importance of healthy eating, but this book doesn't actually tell you what to eat or why it's important because, like I said, I think people know that, but this is more of the joining the dots with the, the day-to-day practicalities. It's not like it's not really sexy or exciting stuff, but it's just really simple, useful habits that we can slowly build on to just make it that little bit easier for us. Amelia, is it, for the most part, a lack of time it's not it's not a lack of uh, effort or desire it's just a, a lack of time for most people and then we end up t- uh, taking shortcuts and making the wrong decisions and just going for something handy from the deli totally totally i think most people um you're right it's a lack of time and again just because our lives are so busy and maybe we don't factor in the time for the importance to eat because it is really important like i've said we have to eat every single day and we do need um to eat essential nutrients and proteins and fats etc um in order to help us to thrive but yet it for some reason it's always something that falls to the bottom of our list so my the tips in the book i mean this book is like hopefully there's something for everyone i'm not expecting people to read this book and um, you know, there's some things that might be really common sense to some people, but not to others. The idea is that there's just loads and loads of simple nuggets that we can start to build into our lives, just small things um, that aren't going to, you know, this is not about making, giving us more to do and making us feel more stressed and concerned about time. But they are ultimately time saving things that make it easier for us to just make better, healthier decisions um, around the food choices that we're making, you know, consistently, because it's not about what we do for one or two weeks here and there. It's about, you know, our health and our nutrition is important over the whole context of our lives. It's not it's not a short-term fix. So the, the book is really to give people lots and lots of simple habits, whether it be to, you know, that I give a, my system for how to organize your fridge because it really helps to have a fridge where you can see what you've got easily available to hand and obviously have the healthier options uh, visually available to you. Um, And that can massively help on reducing waste so that things don't go out of date or get lost in the back. Um, Or it can be simple tips like meal planning. For me, that's been an absolute game changer. If I take 10 minutes on a weekend to plan my meals for the rest of the week, it just takes away that decision fatigue when you're really stressed and short of time at the end of the day or, you know, trying to think what to do for lunch. So the book's got, it, it, like I say, it's really practical. It's not about giving people more to do, but actually helping to lessen the burden of what we have to do day in, day out. I was watching uh, TV chef Tom Carriage last night, and I, 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 he, he always, like a lot of the, the really good TV chefs, makes it look so simple. But the big mm. thing about him is he, he, was, he, was being, he was getting prepared for the Christmas dinner, and it was all about preparation. And it, it, he made it look yeah. like all he had to do was to show up on Christmas Day because he had the stuffing balls made. He had the uh, sticky toffee and the sauce made in advance. He had the gravy all prepared. Uh, the roast potatoes were par cooked. And the, even had the turkey prepared and uh, layered with the garlic butter and, and herbs and stuff inside. So 
a lot a lot is about yeah. being prepared and this is just a christmas dinner which you know i suppose mm. for, for many people would be the biggest the biggest meal maybe of the year but uh, day to day and yeah. week to week the, the key is being prepared and, and you, you've even touched on some of it there just having your fridge organized and, and maybe having a you know a, a, a detailed shopping list before you go out and simple things yeah i think i think um you raised such a good point i think chefs are you know tr they're trained to plan ahead they're trained to be really really efficient and organized with their time obviously in big kitchens they've got it's easier for them because they've got two chefs they've got it's a team effort right it's not one person trying to fit it in at the end of the day or over the weekend um but chefs are taught how to plan they're taught how to shop they're taught how to really really be organized and yet it's something that the rest of us normal folk um you know we're just not taught those skills and that's really what this book is about it's helping people to get into that mindset where you know for people that find it a burden because a lot of people do find cooking all the time every day a burden and a chore rather than a complete joy like I think chefs might um it's just about getting into the mindset of being that little bit more organized and having some good you know habits in place and again to reiterate this is not about giving people more to do or to saying that we need to you know produce chef standard meals all of the time because I certainly don't but Slowly over the course of, you know, the last few years as I've been building all of these habits and, and these resources and writing this book, um, you know, they've become a way of life. So it doesn't take more time. It actually saves my time and helps my limited resources in the kitchen to be much, much slicker and much more efficient, which takes out the stress, means I'm eating better and, um, you know, I'm just that bit more in control and not as weary and fatigued by it all. <laughs> There's a there's a lot of great ideas and tips in the book, Amelia. And um, as you've Thank mentioned, you. You, you wouldn't expect people to sit down and read it from cover to cover, and I suppose remember everything in it. But there's a number of things that we can take away, and if we implement them into our daily lives, it will make life a bit easier. And it's it's not preachy. A lot of it's common sense, not preachy, but you know, a practical ideas and tips that uh, if we just take a few of them away from the book and introduce them into our, our daily lives it will make life easier and that's what it's all about definitely that's certainly my goal and thanks for saying it's not preachy because that's absolutely the opposite of what this book's meant to be it's um as you say hopefully people can just take one or two things and most people kind of know where their weak spots are whether it's not planning ahead or not shopping and always running out of food um or you know just having a, a fridge that's a bit neater and tidier and so that you can actually see to reduce waste and hence not spend so much. Um, hopefully there's something in it for everyone, but there's also about 17 new recipes as well. So for people that just like to get a few more ideas um, for what to cook, there's, there's lots of healthy options in there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the book is called The Organised Cook, and we all want to be one of those. Uh, Amelia Freer, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us and a very happy Christmas to you. Thank you so much, and to you. Bye.